All right, everybody, how are we doing? So I wanted to post this video as a little update to my last video. First things first, I wanted to thank you guys for all the support on the last video. That was pretty awesome. I'm really glad to see that you guys were liking it. Thank you to everybody in the community who pointed out discrepancies with my methods. Um, I appreciate it. I'm pretty new to Fallout 4 modding, and so um, it was really nice to have more experienced modders uh, help me out where my tutorial fell short and gave me some good input to add to the tutorial. That being said, in my last video, I was incorrect in my methods of adding your weapons to the leveled list in Fallout 4. I was informed that the way that I did it can lead to issues with um, mod conflictions, and I don't want that happening. So I made the change to the PDF. The PDF now gives instructions on how to correctly inject your weapon into the leveled list. And although Dafraf's tutorial on his Nexus page is fantastic, I wanted to go ahead and make a video tutorial of it just for the people who learn a little bit better visually. So that is what we are going to do today. One more thing before we get started, as with our new tradition that I plan on doing moving forward, I did in fact post this poll and it looks like that the Fallout 4 how to create props for settlement building is the winner. So that will be my next video. This video is not gonna replace that or anything. I'm still gonna make the video on how to make stuff for settlement building. That will be coming out either late this week or early next week. And with that being said, let's go ahead and just jump into the tutorial. First thing you're gonna wanna do is go over to the Nexus. Uh, this will be linked in the description. It's also linked in the description of the original video and also on the PDF. Um, you're gonna be wanting to download uh, Dinkraft's injector script. Go down here to files and then click manual download. What's nice about these scripts is that um, it does come with a written tutorial for those of you who um, do a little bit better with written stuff. And it also has images attached to it, which Dink was very, very nice to include. If you haven't endorsed these scripts, you definitely should. It's Absolutely fantastic and an amazing community resource that Dank made. Once you have it downloaded, I'm just going to throw it on my desktop for a sec. And you can close out of this. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do with these to get these scripts installed into the script extender, you're going to want to go ahead and open them up. I'm just going to drag the contents of the zip onto my desktop. Go ahead and delete the zip now. Then you're going to be navigating to your Fallout 4 directory. I have a quick access link to it right here. And then we will go to data. And then we're just going to plop the scripts folder into the data folder. We can double click it and we can see that think scripts are right here. All right, now that those are installed, go ahead and open up creation kit. And then you're going to want to go to File, Data, load the Fallout 4 Master, as well as any other DLCs that are included in your mod. So if you used uh, the lever action as your reference mesh in the previous tutorial, or any weapon as your reference in the previous tutorial that's from a DLC, go ahead and load that as well. And then you are going to want to load your plugin that you created for your weapon. And then click OK. All right, and once you have the creation kit open, we're gonna go ahead and close that out. And then we are going to go down to the character tab in the object window. And in the character tab, you're gonna go down to quest. In the quest box, you're gonna right click anywhere and click new. Then in the ID, you can type in just about anything, but Dank recommends typing in something like a unique form. So my go-to is NL mods, but you can put in anything. Um, then we're gonna do underscore, the name of your weapon, mine's the Mosser 1914. And then the very last part is gonna be LL inject. Once you have that, you're gonna go over to scripts, then you're gonna click add script. And here you're gonna type in asterisk, dank, asterisk, click incompatible, and then click refresh. It'll take a second to load, but once it loads, click dank underscore gun LL inject two, and then click add. Now you got yourself a big scary window here, but don't be alarmed, pretty easy actually. 
First thing we're going to want to focus on this main settings box up here. There's four different things we can mess with. I'm going to go over each one. Weapon name here refers to the notification that shows up in game when the script injects your weapon into the level list for the very first time. If you leave it empty, that notification will not appear. However, I do recommend putting something in here, especially for testing purposes, to ensure that the script is in fact injecting your weapon into the level list. You don't have to, but I do recommend it. If you do want to add it, go ahead and click on default, then edit value, and then you can just type in the name of the weapon, Monster 1914. Then we're going to look at these two. There's weapon form and list form. Here's the difference between the two. You're only going to pick one. If you want just your weapon to be injected into the scripts, then you're going to click this one. If you have a leveled item already created that has different variants of your weapon with different attachments and such, you're going to want to use this one. But it's the same process for both. Just make sure you're picking one. I'm going to do the weapon form. I'm going to click on default and then click edit value. I'm going to check on filter to find my weapon. Monster. Then pick object. I'm going to click the drop down and then click my monster 1914. And then the last thing in the main settings that matters to us is player level. This here dictates what level the weapon begins showing up at. For mine, I want mine at level three. So I'm going to click on it and click edit value. You can put in any level. This just dictates at what level will the weapon start to show up on the level list. All right, and once you have that all filled out, now it's time to find the level list that you want your weapon on. I'm going to be putting mine on the weapons gun short, the general store, the gunner semi-auto, the raider weapons, and the quest reward mid-level. So to do that, for each leveled list, there's two different strings. For each leveled list, there's two different strings. There's the one that says auto fill me and then player level to add weapon to the list above. Here's the difference between the two. To add your weapon to this level list, you're gonna click on the one that says auto fill me, and then click auto fill. And then it automatically adds your weapon to this level list. If you want it to show up on this level list specifically at a different level than what you put in up here, this is where you would click on this guy here, edit value, and then change the number to the level in which you want it to begin to show up on this level list specifically. If you wanted to just use this level three or whatever you put up here, just go ahead and leave this alone. Don't touch it. Then we're going to go through each one that we want to add our weapon to. Click on the autofill me, then click autofill. Then I want it on semi-auto, then click autofill. And it's the same process for all these. Go ahead and click Okay, once you have it autofilled to every level list you want it to be on. And then click OK in the quest. Then you're going to go up here, click File, Save. Now to make sure that this is working, we're going to hop into Fallout 4 and see that notification appear. If it does, it should in fact be working. All right, and now you can see in the top left, level list injection complete, Monster 1914. That means that our mod is working and that your weapon should now be on the level list that you picked in the scripts menu. All right, and that's gonna do it for me. Like I said before, go ahead and go to the injector scripts page and endorse the mod. Uh, Dankraft definitely deserves it. This is an amazing tool. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a like. If you want to see more by me, go ahead and subscribe because I will be uploading some more Fallout 4 modding tutorials in the future, as well as um, some more Skyrim stuff and uh, maybe even some other types of tutorials like um, like digital art or Blender or anything like that. And I do post a community poll whenever I upload a new video for you guys to vote on the next video that I'll be making. And right now, as I said before, the current winner is Fallout 4 How to Create Props for Settlement Building. So, you guys will be seeing that video either at the end of this week or beginning of next week. Again, 
That's all for me. I will catch you guys next time.